Chinese and I'll conclude with a small story to uh, clarify the meaning of we have not neglected anything in the book. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about it, he never neglected anything in the book. Whether he specifies it clearly in the Quran or he gives you general guidelines to know what is right and what is wrong. Uh, the story is a true story. It happened in the U.S. several years ago. Several years ago. They said there was a Muslim uh, student in the class. Uh, he was practicing, he memorized Quran and everything, right? And the professor was a Muslim, but he was a secular, right? A secular, right? So the Muslim student wrote a paper about the Quran and he says, he cited this ayah that Allah says in the Quran that he never neglected anything in the book. And he says in the, in, in the paper that America has all solutions for all its problems, the political, economic, social problems in the Quran. Because Allah never neglected anything in the Quran. The secular professor disagreed. And he says Allah does not explain everything in the Quran. Right? The Quran doesn't talk about everything. It talks about some things, but not everything. So the Muslim students said, no, if Allah says it in the Quran that he never neglected anything, it has to be true. So the professor gave him a challenge. And he says, where does Allah talk about my bald head in the Quran? He didn't have hair, right? Where does Allah talk about my bald head in the Quran? So the student said, it's easy, it's in the Quran. In Surah Al-A'raf, وَالْبَلَدُ الطَّيِّبُ يَخْرُجُ نَبَاتُهُ بِإِذْنَ رَبِّهِ وَالَّذِي خَبُثَ لَا يَخْرُجُ إِلَّا نَكِلَ Right? So he says, Allah says in the Quran, the good man will uh, produce immensely or to, uh, a lot, but a, uh, an evil man will not produce anything. So it talks about your head. So my apologies if someone is bald. <laughs> no offense, right? I'm not talking about you. Right? Uh, the question for last night was the meaning of يَسْأَلُهُ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ 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 يَسْأَلُهُ It means they are dependent on him. Because the great majority of human beings, they don't even believe in Allah and they don't worship him, they don't pray to him. So يَسْأَلُهُ means they are dependent on him, or they stand on need, uh, in need of him, whether they pray to him or not, whether they acknowledge him or not. Day in and day out, he has something to bring about. Uh, he gives life to someone, he takes someone's life. He makes someone rich, he makes someone poor. He gives izza to someone, or he disgraces someone. This is the meaning of the ayah. And the winner is Sister Sami Amr. Sami Amr.